modern journalist needs a new set of skills to enable her perform the vital role of national agenda shaping. We must move from knowledge to insight. We have to better appreciate the role of citizens and duty bearers in the nation building project. We must begin to highlight the role and responsibilities of various state actors in delivering development. To do this effectively, let me remind you of three hard facts about journalism. Our obligation is to the truth as journalists, not to NDC, MPP, or CPP. Our obligation is to the truth. As journalists, our loyalty is to citizens, not business interests or political parties or religious groups. Journalism in its essence is a discipline of verification. We must develop a deep understanding of the subjects we cover, not just to report them intelligently, but to challenge the status quo. Economic journalists, of which I'm one, have to understand the flaws of the neoliberal economic worldview, which underpins the economic models we spoke about in chapter one. We must evolve from news reporting to news analysis to cause advocacy when necessary. In the words of Matt Winkler of Bloomberg News, journalists ought to understand the connections between economies, markets, companies, industries, and governments. They must not only understand, but appreciate the connections and relationships between these, which inform the basis of public opinion. If our listeners and our readers must not suffer the consequence of our ignorance, unquote. The third shift we must have is a shift from the coverage of news from a top-down to a bottom-up approach. We are in the cusp of an industrial revolution. Information is spreading and growing rapidly. We cannot afford to report he said, she said forever. We cannot afford to only quote those at the top. The people of Adenta, whose roads were killing them, needed a voice. There are lots more people in Ashaiman, Ablikumama here, on the N1, whose shouts are asking for journalistic mics, who also need a seat at the table. If we don't highlight the problems they face and tell their stories to the world, the force of their frustration and the angst of their many years of neglect could spill into waves of protest which cannot contain. As storytellers, we must allow ordinary people to vent. We must consciously shift from top-down news to bottom-up reportage. Generally, should stop chasing politicians after press conferences for more sound bites. Go to ordinary people and ask them to share their views about the budget. The elected and unelected bureaucrats have had their say long enough. Let's go to the marketplaces, the lorry stations. Let's go to the farms. Let's go to the streets and the slums. Let's hear from the ordinary people. Enough of the pontification about structural rigidities and fiscal deficit and macroeconomic mambo jumbo. <laughs> let's go to the people and let's report the news. We must be comprehensive in our work, rigorous and unrelenting in our questioning, accurate and balanced in our reportage, cogent and convincing in our analysis, but we must be bottom up in our focus. We must be honest enough to admit our mistakes, but we must also be diligent enough to correct them. <laughs>